All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. No further ado, let's get right into the story. Just hit that subscribe button, please. So you can also hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time we update these stories because we're going to follow this story all the way through to when they catch the person, the court case, the sentencing, and all that. Justice must be served, right? And again, we send our condolences out to legendary sound selector Ricky Trooper. It's a sad time. And I saw a video yesterday from Trooper where say his phone has never been jammed up before. His phone is jammed up now. His phone is jammed up because so many people are calling to, you know, lend their condolences and calling to see what they can do to assist and checking on him to make sure he's okay. I also learned yesterday that he was not a distant father from his daughter. Him and his daughter were pretty close and he often spoke of her as well, right? With that said, there's a lot of new information out there concerning her case. I made us like a talk up the things them just so everybody can take a look at him where depending on the community our community is huge the caribbean community is huge not just the jamaican community but the caribbean community because jamaica is a part of the caribbean we're a huge community in the u.s itself especially in certain cities and certain states so we're depending on those people from those angles to help us to bring this man to justice seeing all right so let's first of all start off with the basic info and the basic info says Bridgeport police have identified a suspect in Thursday's fatal shooting of a 23 year old woman and they are asking for the public's help in locating him. They now have a picture up on wanted posters for this individual. Yesterday morning we covered this live on soflow tv in the morning on our morning show we didn't have all this yet from the american side now we do official wanted posters have gone out the police says that they've obtained an arrest warrant now also for derek francis the dynamics of the relationship between derek francis and who everybody is calling brie brie or ricky trooper's daughter we will get into that in a second. Stick around. Police says that they've obtained an arrest warrant for Derek Francis, who is 41 years old and who's accused of killing Brianna McCoy, who was 23 years old in what the police are describing as a domestic violence incident. He was 41. She was 23. Okay. Okay. I know there are couples on social media now one is getting very popular these days where the man is extremely older than the female and all these things some people say it's not a good move for a younger female to do that get into a relationship with the older man other people are saying leave people alone they're grown people as long as you are of age of consent or of adult age which is 18 and above then you choose who you want to be with and if it work it work if it don't work it don't work but that's an adult decision that you are making other people see it differently some people will say you are 41 what you want with a 23 year old come on man go look your own age left the little girl makes you grow all kind of something 23 years old is not seen as adult adult really why because scientifically it is said this is scientifically proven that the frontal lobe part of the brain the part of the human brain that deals with decision making higher level thinking reasoning consciousness as in conscious reasoning uh, that that part of the brain also deals with what we would call impulse like impulsive behavior you're able to control your impulse this is the reason why younger people will do stuff like hey you want to watch something cool hold my drink watch this and next thing you know they're in the hospital paralyzed from the waist or the neck down whereas someone who was past that age 
they now have the capacity developed in their frontal lobe of their brain to say, uh, weigh the options more. That might hurt me permanently, so I'm not going to do it, even though it might look cool to do and people will think I'm cool after doing it. Younger person, they don't have that impulse control. All that part of the brain right there in the is in the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is not fully developed until a human is past 25 years old. All right, so I reverse this now and say it again. He was 41, she was 23. He is 41, she is 23 years old. Her name was Brianna McCoy. This is the person everybody has been calling Ricky Trooper's daughter, right? Okay. Now, Francis is described as 5 feet 8 inches tall and 170 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Police says that he is known to frequent the north end of Bridgeport, Connecticut and also the Bronx. I am guessing that he might be still hiding out in those two areas where he's known to frequent because that's his comfort zone. Or... Somebody is helping him and them say, run, come down here, some man. And he's down in Florida somewhere or he is somewhere else. Whatever the case may be, the goal is to find him, turn him over to the authorities or y'all know the rest of the other part of that story, right? Anyhow, I'm looking at the dynamics of the relationship and I'm going around and I'm reading from different sites where friends of her, Brianna, or Bree Bree as they call her, are posting things, seeing? And I remember one from Andre Stevens' site, from his IG, that said something to the effect of, you wouldn't make the girl even sleep in our bed, because having something to do with, she couldn't, she couldn't live in peace. She couldn't live in peace. Now, there are other stories that are out, that how she had to leave out of the house in the middle of the night with her child and how she had to, you know, she was being constantly abused by him. Word is out now. Now, I don't know how true it is and I don't want to add no insult to the injury, but word is out that he was very abusive towards her. I saw one story that says he was like body shaming her, fat shaming her after she had the baby. I'm guessing she had one or two children because I read a report that she was a mother of two. I don't know if she was a mother of two for real. I don't know her. But as reporting this, it says she was a mother of two. Maybe she was a mother of one. And the report where the friend said she couldn't even sleep in her bed at night and she had to come out in the middle of the night with her child. It didn't say with her children. You saw me, I say? But anyhow, neither here nor there. Another report I read says that he is the father or is he is her baby father. Baby father didn't say he is the father of her children or he is the father of one of her children or some in a no. I still don't know how many she has. I know she's a mother. I know that they are saying that he is the baby father. So what the story is looking like is she got involved pretty young with an older man. If she's 23 and she has a child, she either must just have the child or she had the child. If she, Especially if she has two children, she either must just have one and had one previously or she had them pretty young, like 18, 19, 20, right? Going into her 20s. By the time she's 23, she's a mother of two. All right. That would put him around 40, 39, 40 when they first met. He's 41 now. This time now he's on the run, wanted for murder. He is now 41 years old. There's another story that stuck out to me. How, he, how they said that he used to like make fun of her body and, you know, drip her up and beat her up and all these other things. And there have been domestic uh, violence complaints about him previously concerning her man i wish she had gotten out but you know 
that's the situation when a woman goes into a relationship and then finds herself being abused i tell people this all the time no woman ever would ever be with a man if he tells her at the beginning of the relationship yeah me beat woman you know yeah and if you get out of line i'm gonna beat you up too she would just say hey okay i don't even want to date you i'm just gonna go find somebody else or be by myself but really you know how relationships start out they normally start out loving caring mr prince charming this older guy is probably able to show her things that younger guys her age group not able to show her and whatever she is infatuated you know she's swept off her feet she's loving how she's being treated like a real princess these kind of things and then once he gets her right where he wants her then comes the abuse then comes the drip up and the box down and the verbal abuse the physical and emotional emotional abuse and then it multiplies over time if you don't leave in her case she didn't leave and it escalated all the way to her death another typical story man another thing that grabbed me about him is that he is 5 8 and 170 pounds he's light he's a light little man that's all i'm gonna say he's a light little man me doing this report being 6'5 250 pounds my wife is five i think my wife yeah my wife is taller than that or my wife is five eight and a little less than 170 so um it's a small man we're looking for right but that's neither here nor there it's one of those situations she's i guess she fell in love or was in love at one point and this abusive wretch ended up abusing her until death I don't know why men do this you know if you don't love the woman let her go let somebody else have her but some men get so deep in that they feel like them own the woman they become possessive and then it turns into a situation of if i can't have you nobody else will anyways it's a sad situation so police responded to coach light square condominium on vincelet street around 11 30 on thursday morning and the police found mccoy brianna mccoy unresponsive and they said that they had seen that she had been shot to death they continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding her death at the moment and they're asking everybody to join hands and please help remember He's known to frequent the north end of Bridgeport and the Bronx as well, but he could very well be in any state across the United States of America right now, right? What I also noticed was residents in the area gave a report and there was a man who was giving a report, you know, and he said 23, this is a American white man that lives in the neighborhood. Two things they said, one, in that area in the condominium in that area where she lived this is known as the preferred part of town to live in the desired part of town to live in so in other words then over there's a nice right that's had a nice part of town once you live over there so it means you're doing good right all right it is not crime infested and all these things as opposed to other parts of the town our city the man said, 23, you haven't even started to live your life yet at 23. And like I explained earlier, she was 23 and she is 23 and 23, you haven't hit that mark of 25 and above where science says you're fully developed mentally. Now you can make adult decisions. You know, this goes a long way, you know, even looking at the science. If we know that science says that the brain is not fully developed to make adult decisions to control impulsive behavior until after 25 years old, why did we make it okay for age 16 to be age of consent? Why did we make it okay for age 18 to be considered a legal adult and held responsible for being and deciding 
and acting as an adult. Anyhow, neither here nor there. I'm just keeping this one interesting and talking and talking because I want y'all to stare at that picture of this man real good and I want you to be able to help any way you can. All right. Again, our condolences goes out to Rick Trooper. This is life, man. And everybody has an appointment with death. But we don't want to see our children go out in this manner. And we know a lot of people lose their life. But this one, sad. Okay. They're all sad. But this one is sad. It's sad because we know Trooper. It's sad because it's sad. It's sad. And it's Jamaicans doing the same thing to each other abroad. I've just covered two stories out of the UK. Same scenario. The man was Jamaican in one of them. And the woman was British. And in another one, the man, the man and the woman were Jamaican. And she actually took him from Jamaica. Brought him to the UK. Got him straight there. And he ended up taking her life. Then I just covered one from the US where it was the same situation. And here comes another one again. So it begs for the question, are our men in our culture prone to this type of behavior? Like killing our women instead of leaving them when things aren't working out. I want to talk up in the comment section. And in the meantime, let's be of all the help we can be. I ask people to spread these videos so more people can see it because everybody lives on social media nowadays. And eventually, somebody will be scrolling past. They could be sitting in a bar and they'll look up and they'll look down at their phone and they'll look up again and that person will be right there. And they'll do a double take and they'll say, yo, that's the guy. He's right here on my phone. It says he's wanted. And they'll secretly hit 911 and he'll be in custody and he'll be forced to face justice. So it's very important to share these types of videos. All right. Leaving it right here. We'll continue to follow the story and we'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.